What is going on guys, Sirius here. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a quick little tutorial on how you can set up your overflow fix with Black Ops 2 GSX Studio. I'm also bringing you kind of some information on what the overflow is and why it happens and why you need an overflow fix. Uh, this is pertinent to anybody who's using any HUD elements where you're going to be setting the text of your HUD element a lot. Um, for example, I've got a, a example project set up here. Uh, it's just putting some basic info about you on the screen, and I'm gonna show you what happens when you inject this uh, with, with no overflow fix and kind of explain you know, what happens with the overflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and inject this to redacted really quickly so that we can see what happens. Um, overflow fixes have been kind of an issue for a long time. Um, some of the old ones, they work, but they're a little bit shaky and there's a lot of little things you have to do to set them up and there's also a bunch of problems like you have to redraw yourself and there's a bunch of different variants so I wanted to standardize it and make it easier for you but um, as you can see right here this is just drawing my origin my angles um, and whether I'm alive um, as you can see when I walk around you know it updates whatever um, I'll have it update faster in a minute but for now I'm just trying to show you you get this error right G find config string index overflow 488. Now you can only have so many config strings in your game before it'll overflow. I'm gonna go ahead and start this again really quickly. Just ignore it. Um, before your game crashes, every time you call set text, if it's a string that has not been set to any text element before, it adds it to your config strings. Well, when you run over the maximum amount of config strings, the game has no space for your strings, and then you know, you have to somehow clear the strings or you're going to run out of space. The problem with clearing the strings as well is that when you remove the strings that a HUD element needs to be able to draw the text to the screen, you also just completely wipe that HUD element from existence because it has no text anymore and it has no idea what to draw. So if you end up sending any other random text um, in the slot that that HUD element is pointing to, then you get some random text on your HUD element. So you also have to reset the text of the HUD element. But with my overflow fix that I've implemented in the GSX Studio, you don't really have to worry about any of that. All you have to do is just go into your init function and you don't wanna you don't wanna put this in your connected, you don't wanna put this on your unspawn, because if you do, it's not gonna work. You have to put it in your, your init and you're just gonna put X overflow fix. And then you're gonna put the threshold, uh, which is the amount of strings that you uh, want to be the maximum. A safe threshold is 50, but I also like to use 60 because that's tugging the line, but at the same time, it'll work just fine. The maximum amount of strings in multiplayer without the ranked fix is around 67, 66 or 67. So you need to make sure that you don't put it over that, but 60 is probably a safe number and that's what most people use. Then you're gonna go ahead and anywhere you use set text in your script, you're gonna have to put X set text, which is, I mean, you just put an X in front of it, which is really simple, but um, don't forget about your draw text because that's where it's used most of the time. And once you have that, you're good to go. That's literally all you have to do for your overflow fix. It cuts out all the BS. It cuts out all the stuff where you have to redraw the text by yourself. It just makes things a lot easier. Um, there's also a function to where if you want to clear the HUD elements yourself, this is completely optional, so if you don't plan on doing this, you don't have to worry about this. You just type in X overflow clear, and then you'll type in the index of the string, just put put undefined, because you don't wanna, that, I mean, that's for internal use, you don't really want that. And then auto redraw is whether you want the strings to redraw, and you can use that if you want, but you don't need that, you, you really don't need that. So um, it, it's only for people who really wanna optimize when it clears, etc. set stuff up like that. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna show you guys how this script works with the overflow fix in place. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this down so that it's not as shaky. And we'll go ahead and put wait min. Um, hold on. X set text with seven parameters. Um, oh, that's right, because we're using, <laughs> lol, I forgot. All right, guys, well, if you're using the original uh, set text, with multiple parameters you can't do that with xx x set text because it's not a built-in but um doesn't matter because we can just change all these commas to pluses and i'm gonna go ahead and speed this up 
let's replace this. Replace this. Uh, replace, 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 replace. Um, oh, of course, I didn't think of the fact that that's going to uh, do that. All right. Oh, that went to crap very quickly. All right. We'll go ahead and start the game. Hopefully, I didn't do anything dumb, but it looks like everything is set up properly. Um, and this should be a lot smoother. Um, the only thing with the overflow fix that kind of sucks is that your text blinks for like a few frames, but I mean, most overflow fixes do that. And the only way to really fix that is to optimize when you clear, um, when you're using menus and things like that. So um, this is probably the best you're gonna get for now. Um, this is also much more stable than the original overflow fixes because of the way it works. It can support a lot more strings, but as you can see, it just blinks whenever it runs out of strings instead of crashing which most overflow fixes do. And it automatically redraws it, I didn't have to do anything else, so. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. And for something like this as well, it's better to use set value than to use set text, but I mean, you know, I was trying to just show you guys how the uh, overflow fix works. Uh, that's probably gonna be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just ask me in the comment section, I'll be happy to answer. Um, just make sure you look and see if somebody else has already asked that question uh, because I will most likely give you a less in-depth answer if I've already answered it. So just look out for somebody else asking the same question. Um, I'm also going to make this a thread on NGU most likely. So for anybody who is on NGU, you can go see the text version of this on NGU. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,